Today, we have huge news with the new Hearts of Iron 4 developer diary. Germany is getting a rework and everything in this developer diary is going to be added to the base game. Yes, all the information I'm going to share with you here is free if you own a copy of Hoi 4 with the new update that drops November 14th. Stay till the end of the video to get all the information and subscribe for full coverage of all the Hearts of Iron 4 updates. Let's get into this TLDR version of the Germany developer diary. So I'm feeling a little sick today, guys, so my voice is a little hoarse. The first thing that we're going to cover here is Hitler is going to get a facelift with the new update, and Germany has new national spirits. Note that the third on the right appears to be a work in progress. Here's another look at Hitler's picture here, his new art, as well as the new national spirits they will grant debuffs to army navy and air force currently in game you can ignore the mifo bills but now your consumer good factory increases each month till it reaches 100 percent the monthly increase is higher based on the amount of non-core states controlled by germany this means that speed running for Germany may be out. Germany now starts with crippling debuffs to its army, air force, and navy. These debuffs can be improved by navigating the focus tree. Again, this looks like another attempt to stop the Germany speed run. Here is our first look at the Germany focus tree. We're going to be taking a deep dive on this. The image isn't really that clear. Note in the middle that there is a new inner circle mechanic that has been added for germany we're going to get into that a little bit more in depth later here's a closer look at the inner circle mechanic it looks like it's been built into the focus tree here are the common branches of the focus tree starting on the left is the army branch then the air branch the navy branch and then on the far right is the economic branch here's a look at the starting army generals and field marshals as germany Looks like they've, they have two new generals, Lutz and Blumberg. Lutz is listed twice, but this is all a work in progress. So I think that that's just a mistake. You will unlock more generals and field marshals by completing the army branch of the focus tree. As you can see here, the army focus tree divides into two branches. One is going to be a infantry slash artillery based focus and then the other is going to be based on mechanized warfare and maneuver on the right so the left side of the branch or the prussian legacy side will give you bonuses to artillery and infantry here's a closer look at what this focus gives you so it looks like they're going to give you bonuses to grand battle plan doctrine and then you'll also be able to unlock decisions for operational planning that will be different than the Maneuver Warfare branch. And I've already looked through the whole developer diary and it looks like this branch would pair better with a monarchist route and maybe an infantry-based attack plan rather than microing with tanks. Here we see the operational planning decisions that are available when you take the Pr Prussian legacy focus. And as you can see, most of the bonuses are to infantry and artillery. If you choose the left side of this focus tree, you will get the Sturm Truppe Battalion. And it looks like they are paratrooper compatible. Looks like it comes through with a breakthrough buff. So Germany could be very strong if you go infantry only. Here we see the operational planning bonuses that are granted if you choose the right side of the army focus tree. And as you can see here, it gives you motorized mechanized attack, negative organizational loss while moving, and it's active for 365 days. So here's a closer look at the right-sided focus tree, adopt new Panzer doctrine. And as you can see, you're going to have Heinz Guderian available as a general as well as a military theorist and you will it will also unlock rommel as a general and military high commander in this slide we see the differences between the prussian legacy and adopt new panzer doctrine paths 
when all the focuses are completed on their respective side. Again, these two paths are mutually exclusive and you can only choose one. The new Panzer Doctrine path is on the left and the Prussian Legacy path is on the right. To be honest, there's not much difference besides the air superiority bonus you get with the Panzer Doctrine on the left. We'll see if this is changed later or if it's a work in progress. The new air branch of the Focus Tree will allow you to choose three paths, Dive Bomber, Tactical Bomber, and Euro Bomber. So you'll be able to buff small, medium, or heavy aircraft. I'm not gonna go through all the bonuses you receive in each path, but here are a few of the interesting things I see here. Note that you will get a variant of each type of aircraft depending on which path you choose. So the dive bomber path, you will get the Ju-87 or the German variant of CAS. I wonder if this bonus to light aircraft research will also apply to fighters. That would make the dive bomber path way more appealing. Also note that each path gives you a different bonus to a different type of air doctrine. Battlefield support for the bomber path, operational integrity for the tactical bomber path, and strategic destruction for the Euro bomber program path. During has been updated, and if you choose him as chief of the Air Force, you will be getting these bonuses. Helmuth Wilberg is another chief of the Air Force that is available, but will not be available if you're playing the fascist path, as he was Jewish. These are the bonuses you will get with a fully developed Air Doctrine path. It looks to me like this may buff a cast meta that could pair well with infantry only. Here's a look at the new Naval Focus Tree. Some of these paths as you go down are mutually exclusive, but you can go down both sides. After completing the Naval Focus Tree, you'll get these bonuses, kind of what you'd expect from a Germany focus tree. Here's the Wunderwaffen National Spirit. Not sure where this is in the focus tree, but it looks like it may be at the end of the army branch. I'm assuming that this is a work in progress since they don't state exactly where it is. So if you look at the bottom of the army branch, you can see that there is a very suspicious looking Wunderwaffen focus tree badge there, and that's what I'm referring to. And if you scroll across the whole new focus tree for Germany, I don't see another badge that would look like it's Wunderwaffen to me. Tell me what you think in the comments below. This is what the economic focus tree looks like. You can either prioritize economic growth or go with the four year plan. The four year plan is for early growth but limits Germany later. Under the four-year plan are two new types of economies. The first is autarky efforts that lock free trade. The second is total Krieg, and this replaces total mobilization. Note that with total Krieg economy, you get reduced recruitable population, but it also activates the decision of women in the workforce. I'm not sure if this makes women in the workforce available, or if it actually just gives you women in the workforce, I couldn't tell. You can remove the MIFO bills with prioritize economic growth. This gives you recovering economy, which also gives Germany many debuffs. This looks like something you would choose if you were to go the monarchist path of Germany. As you move down this path, you can remove the effects of recovering economy. So that might mean you'd wait for war later. Here's a look at the fully developed right and left paths of the focus tree. It looks like Germany will be forced to use the right commissariat system if you take the four year plan path due to the negative modifiers you get from the MIFO bills. The right side here is the four year plan path. And as you can see here, consumer goods factories factor will increase by 2.5% each month up to 100%. The monthly increase will be higher based on the amount of non-core states controlled by the German Reich. So this could be crippling. This plays into more of a blitzkrieg style and quick wars where you're able to conquest then core or conquest and puppet. Here's the bottom of the left side of the economic focus tree, the non four year plan side. Now we will review the political branch of the Germany focus tree. There are new icon frames to differentiate between historical and non historical 
focus is. This feature can be toggled on and off with the buttons above, these right here. The right side of the political focus tree gives you focuses that will allow you to either go far east or far west. As you can see here at the bottom, you can go up against the US and China, or you could go east and defeat the Soviets. The left side of the focus tree will allow you to wage war in Europe. It also looks like at the bottom here, you can establish protectorates in America, most likely puppets in America. On the left side of the political focus tree, you'll have two paths to take if you're to Anschluss. You can side with Ribbentrop on the right here and increase Soviet tensions or improve the Wehrmacht but have a non-aggression pact with the Soviet Union on the left. In order to enact Anschluss, the requirements have changed. You simply need a bigger army than Austria in order to enact Anschluss. In this part of the developer diary, they discuss that there will be no balance of power mechanic in Germany. I'm assuming they chose the inner circle mechanic instead, and that will be discussed in a different developer diary. So the balance of power mechanic was added to Finland as well as Italy, and I don't believe that it was well received by the community. The Reichskommissrat system has now also been updated and will allow for SS recruitment. Here we see the 3D model for the SS divisions. It looks like there are a few new political advisors available as well as military theorists. The military high command has also been updated. MIOs or military industrial organizations have been updated as well. And it looks like they've added a lot new of new MIOs to the system. Also, there are new industrial concerns that are available as well. Here's a look at some of the new 3D models that will be available. Join me next time where I will review the next developer diary that will focus on raids. There will also be more developer diaries that cover Germany coming soon. See you guys on the next one.